Hello. Everybody coming Beautiful in. Face. Love it. Oh, can you get my notebook for me real quick? On the table. All right, this is your last shot. It's eight o'clock. You want to blast out your message real quick. We're going to start promptly. Excited to see so many faces on our call tonight. Friends that are getting babies to bed and they're like, I'm trying to get the kids to sleep so I can jump on. <laughs> I know we just threw our boys in the bedroom. We're like, night night. We're out. You don't get up until the clock says birthday's red. Oh, is that? Those really great clocks too. Yeah. They cannot, well, they're not supposed to get out anyway until the light is green. This was our stand today, but it was bothering Kenny. So he wanted to make sure, cause it's, it's kind of wobbly. It's maybe not the best stand for that. We're working on stuff here. Better, thank you. All right, everybody want to make sure that you're coming in. If you're not muted, please mute yourself. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's eight o'clock. This is Testimony Tuesday. It is May 3rd, you guys. And so as we were preparing for this call and we have a leaders call that we do, and we kind of like brainstorm about like families that are within our own community that are having incredible results. And we really just wanted to take some time to celebrate those families so that that way you're hearing firsthand from those within our own community. And one of those is a friend of ours. Her name is Erica Estrada. She's joining us tonight to share her testimony. But I wanted to share a little bit with you guys. If this is your first call with us, and this is the first time you're jumping on, I wanna share a little bit with you about one, what Plexus is all about. And then I'm gonna throw it over to Erica and she's gonna share how the products have really, really changed her life. Now, we don't use that word lightly. We don't say they're life-changing products. Like we don't flippantly just throw that around there. We don't just like say it and we don't have like testimonies to back it up. We don't have clinical science to back it up. That's the really neat part about Plexus. Plexus is an all natural plant-based supplement company. It's health and wellness. It's one of the fastest growing health and wellness companies in the globe right now. We were just recognized with the Direct Sales Network Association as one of the top companies in the best industry to be in. And so when Plexus got started about 14 years ago, it really was focused on three things, balancing blood sugars, fighting inflammation, and gut health. And by incorporating those three pillars into your daily routine, it's incredible how your body actually starts to reset and rebalance itself. Now, sometimes for some people that can be weight loss. I know that I've lost 70 pounds. Kenny's getting up there now, almost 70 pounds lost. It didn't happen overnight. Just like we didn't gain that weight overnight either. We can't walk into the woods 20 miles, as my friend Carrie says, and then expect to walk out in five, right? So it's a process of learning to be consistent, taking your supplements, drinking your water, proper nutrition. And these are things that we love to tackle. So we offer support. We offer encouragement. We do challenge groups and things like that just to kind of keep everybody rowing in the same direction. And by doing that, people tend to have incredible results because you can do so much more than you give yourself credit for. I know for me personally, all too often, I just quit and gave up on myself. If it didn't happen fast enough, if I wasn't losing the weight, if I didn't see a difference in my pants or my jeans or any number of things that I was looking for, so when I came into Plexus, I had a new mindset about the longevity of what I needed this to look like. So tonight, you guys get to hear from Erica, and she has a very powerful testimony in what consistency looks like, but also where she was, not just, Erica, would you, would you say like it was June last year, so we're in May, 
So it's almost been a year of your journey, right? Since like everything hit the fan. Would you say that? Like everything hit the fan. So you guys, I want to introduce my friend, Erica. We've recently been Facebook. Good morning, morning. Erica. The opportunity. 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 And she just, 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 incredible testimony. And I I was so thankful. So thankful. thankful. Reverberating. There's times where you're sharing information and you don't always know if there's anybody receiving it on the other end, but it doesn't mean that you stop sharing. You keep sharing because your testimony is powerful. And that's what I hope you get to hear tonight is the power of Erica's testimony. So Erica, I'm going to throw this over to you. So it was June of last year. So back us up. Take us back to this time last year. Where were you? What was going on? What happened? Well, um, once again, I just want to thank you, Jenna, um, and the team for the opportunity of having me um, come on and uh, just share my testimony. Um, you know, not only uh, do I did I not see it then, but you know, I see this now where I used to see it as a trauma, and now I see it as a testimony. Mm -hmm. And um, it all started for me of uh, with me um, May of last year. Um, my dear friend Willow, um, I've known Willow for many years. We've done ministry together. We've done so many things together. And she reached out to me and said, "Hey, Erica, um, I know some plant-based supplements that I think you should start using or look into." And I was like, "All right, Willow, I'll look into them." Um, but little did I know what these plant-based products were. And at that time, I considered myself to be completely healthy. Um, I, you know, would scroll through her Facebook. I would scroll through her Instagram stories and I would still see um, everything that had to do with the plexus, you know, and I would see all oh, these are pills and I don't want to take any more pills and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do that. And little by little, um, you know, things were starting to change for me. And, you know, if, if I had to be honest with you um, in this time that I was living in, in May of last year, I can literally tell you that I was living my dream. I was on top of the world. My husband and my family were thriving. Um, everything in my life was perfect. Everything you know, that I considered, okay, my, my family's healthy, we're moving, we're in ministry, we're, we're doing everything that we possibly can. And then my life was shaken on June 24th. Um, I didn't expect um, for everything to go down the way that it did. And I remember waking up on June, June 24th and when I woke up, my belly was so extended. It looked like I was eight months pregnant. And I looked at my husband, I said, babe, I was like, something's wrong. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not something, something's not right. My body's telling me something's not right. So I end up calling my, my doctor, my primary doctor. And she says, come on in, let me see what's going on. Let me get some blood work, you know, done for you really quick. And, and I said, okay, no problem. So I went in, I did the blood work and she says, you know what, I am going to give you until four o'clock, um, wait until these results come back till four o'clock. If, um, so you're going to expect a call by four and sure enough, it was 4 PM and my instructions were, you need to go to the ER. And I said, okay, why do I need to go to the ER? She says, your blood, something, something's out of whack. Some it's not, it's not right. I had just had blood work done. I had a whole physical physical in March. So everything showed up fine. And now we're here in June and everything just was all over the place. And I go into the ER and um, they said, we're gonna go ahead and do a, a CAT scan. We're gonna do a CAT scan. And the CAT scan showed that I had a kidney infection as well, um, a bunch of liquid around my heart. And I said, liquid around my heart? Like, where does this come from? I'm a healthy person. I'm living my dream. I'm out here, you know, to, to go and do what God has called me to do. And I, 
I got this fluid around my heart, how? And the first thing that came to mind was COVID because at that time, everything was starting to generate with COVID like after effects. And this was a shock. This was a shock to me because like I said, I've been a healthy person all my life. Um, then they tell me, Erica, we're gonna go ahead and transfer you um, to a different hospital because you're going to have to have a procedure that is going to require, it's kind of, you know, it, it's a procedure that's gonna knock you out and we can't do it in this hospital, um, but we're gonna go ahead and send you to Martin and Stewart and they're gonna go ahead and do it and everything's already prepped for you for at 8 a.m. And I said, okay, well, let's do what we have to do. Um, so I had, so the liquid, I, I, ha I had the liquid removed and in the eight days of my stay, I had two liters of liquid removed from my heart. Um, that was not an easy process because the pain, if you've ever had something to do with your heart, you know the pain. Um, but not only that, they come back, the doctor comes back and she says, Erica, I, I tested you for an autoimmune. And my face kind of said, autoimmune, what is that? You know, I had no idea what an autoimmune was. And she says, well, what we're looking at is your Anna, your, your, your Anna test is very, very high and, and it came out positive. And I said, okay, positive for what? She says, I'm not sure yet. I'm, I think this is lupus. And I said, okay. When she asked, do you have pain? I said, no. Have you ever had a rash? No. And so she kept on asking me more and more questions. And I said, I'm sorry, but I, I don't have another way to tell you that I've been healthy all my life. I was like, there's nothing. I was like that you're going to tell me that is otherwise. I said, because I know who I am. I was like, I know where I've been. I know what I've done. I, I've kept up with doctors. So I don't, I don't understand this. And when I left the hospital, I remember telling my husband, I'm so weak. I'm so weak. My body's not bouncing back. What's, what's wrong with me? I was like, I just don't feel my, you know, I, I don't feel myself. They had to shower me. They had to take me to the bathroom. And then my hair began to fall out. And when my hair began to fall out, that's when I kind of lost it. Because as we know, our hair is our crown piece. And for many women, and I would tell my husband, I'm going to go bald and you're not gonna love me anymore. And he would tell me, no, I'm gonna love you no matter what, I'm gonna love you. So I said, okay, we'll get through this. We'll get over it, you know, whatever we gotta do. So July came around and like I said, I noticed I wasn't recovering um, fast enough, recovering the way that I, I was used to recovering. Um, my blood work came back and I was lacking iron. I was lacking B12, vitamin D, potassium. And the list went on and on and on. And my doctor recommended that I do another, to do another CT just to make sure that everything was okay and that the fluid um, didn't return around my heart. And I said, okay, I go as instructed um, to get it done. And by the time I was finished and I returned home, the phone had already rang. And it was my doctor telling me, Erica, the fluid around your heart has not returned, which is good. But now this fluid is in your lungs. And not only that, but the images are showing that you have an enlarged cervix. And we think that this is cervical cancer. And I got tested for the cervical cancer two days later. 
and the results came back negative. One, glory to God, okay? Guys, looking back at this journey, this is where the, the panic attack started. The anxiety, depression, it started to set in. I was a mess. But then I had Willow reach out to me again just to see how I was doing. And I was real and I was raw with her. I told her, I'm not doing okay, Willow. I'm having a hard time. I'm a woman of God. We preach this all the time, saying depression and anxiety are of the enemy, which they are. But when it happens to you, you no longer, it's, um, you know, I, how to say, I couldn't preach to myself. I couldn't, I couldn't say, Erica, get up. You got this, you got this. I couldn't do it. And she reminded me once again of the plant-based supplements. So I was desperate. And I said, okay, Willow, let's do this. And I placed my first order. Willow said, hey, Erica, I have a friend and her name is Tara, who had lupus and had taken these supplements and she overcame it. And she also said, I also have a friend, Jenna, that has Hashimoto's and autoimmune and she overcame it as well. She said, Erica, this is going to help you, but we need to start them. So scrolling, until August at this time, I received my first order. And what did I do with that first order? I threw it on the counter. I was so focused on all the bad news coming my way that taking the supplements weren't a priority for me. During the same month, I get the liquid drained out of my, my lungs and would go back in two weeks to get another CT scan. Well, this time, the scan showed enlarged lymph nodes. And guess what the doctor brings up? The word cancer for the second time. I was referred to see an oncologist. And if I'm going to be real and transparent, guys, this is where I planned my funeral. For those that know me, know that I'm a great planner. I love to plan events. I love to plan parties. I love to plan church events, community outreaches. That's my, that's my passion. But in this case, I was planning my funeral. I was scared. I was in a deep, dark place. And I wasn't seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And I would cry out to God and ask him, where are you? As I can't hear you like I used to. I can't feel you like I used to. Where are you? At this time, I went back. Not knowing why, but I would go back to Tara and Jenna's video. And I would watch it several times a day for the next three months. 
their videos gave me hope and ministered to my life without them even knowing who I was or the process I had in front of me. I would still tell God, if you did it for them, I know you're gonna do it for me. And I held on to that with everything that I had because God is faithful and he always keeps his promise. Now that we've entered into the month of September, a new month, this was the toughest month I had ever been through in my life. The second order of my supplements came in and once again, I threw them on the counter with the first order. I had a scheduled appointment to see my oncologist. And she said, we have to have surgery to remove some lymph nodes to see if this is lymphoma cancer. I got the procedure done on a Thursday and the doctor tells me, call the office on Monday so you can set up an appointment for Friday so that way you can get your results. Monday came and I called and I made the appointment for Friday. I've never fasted and prayed so much in my life like I did in this month. I was physically and I was emotionally drained. I wasn't sleeping and I knew that Friday was quick, quickly approaching. I woke up that morning in a full blown panic attack. I couldn't shower. I couldn't dress myself. My body wouldn't move. And my husband started to pray. And I looked at him and I said, I'm so sorry. You're about to lose your wife. I am so sorry that their kid, that our kids are going to lose their mom. I'm so sorry. That was everything that came out of my mouth. And quickly, he began to rebuke the spirit of death. And he said, Erica, you're going to live. You have no idea what God is doing and because you don't see it yet. You're just thinking of death. It took everything that I had to get into, that, into the car that day as I was expecting the worst. As we arrived, it took my husband 45 minutes to get me out of the car. As the panic and anxiety were at full speed, we get into the room and the doctor tells me, Erica, I don't have your results yet. <laughs> I lost it. And I said, I'm not going through this again. I'm not, I'm not doing it. And I told her, you know what? This is what you're gonna do. When the results come in, you're gonna call my husband because he's gonna know how to deal with me. I don't wanna hear whatever you have to say. I'm done. I don't, I, I can't do this to myself anymore. Whatever the outcome is, let it be. Um, but call my husband. And we left it like that for that week. The following Thursday, I go and I shower and I, my kids were home, my husband was home. When I get out of the shower, they're all around the dining room table. And they're talking about the day, their day. Now my daughter, my oldest daughter and my husband, they're in law enforcement. 
and they're always sharing videos of what's been going on the night before, what, what happened. They're, they're always sharing videos. But this particular audio caught my attention. And it said, hey, Erica, this is Dr. Sanderson. I just wanna let you know that I got your results and there's no sign of cancer. Your lymph nodes are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I'll see you in a year. God is good. God is good. This is the second time, but God is good. And once again, God kept bringing me back to Sarah and Jenna's video to prepare me once again for a phone call. I now receive a call from my oncologist stating that the results from the liquid that was in my lungs showed a slight M protein for multiple myeloma. Guys, this is the third time I am hearing cancer. This is the third time in the matter of three, four months. This messed me up. I couldn't catch a break and the enemy knew what he needed to do to get my attention. As of two weeks ago, I was tested again, two Mondays ago, and there are no signs of this protein or cancer as of two weeks ago. The doctor even told me two weeks ago, Erica, everything that is that we looked at six months ago in your blood, everything is changing for the better. Your numbers are going down. And I said, praise God. I was like, because God has to do something. And so we entered into the month of October and my order came in for that month. And what did I do? I threw it on the kitchen counter. But this time, I started to research the products. I would print out the products as Jenna or whoever was throwing out the product, this is what this does, this is what this book does. I created a binder for myself because if I was going to know about these products, I needed to know the when, the how, the what. I needed to know everything um, because now I was, I, now that desperation was, I'm curious now. If, if I'm starting to see that these stories are starting to line up, Jenna, Tara, Kimberly, Maria, and all these stories are lining up. And it wasn't that these were people in California and New York, these were people here. And I started to meet them little by little. And a bulb just went off. I had all these products sitting on the counter. And I said, Erica, what do you have to lose. You have nothing. You have nothing to lose. But maybe maybe gain everything back. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, Erica, you're gonna live. You're going to grow old with your husband. You're gonna meet your grandkids. And the most important of all, I had to remember whose daughter I was. And I decided, okay, November 1st, 
was the day that I began my journey with Plexus. And I can say that as of November 1st, it has been one of the best decisions I have made. Enough was enough. And I was putting my health first. I was putting me first. Because if I didn't take care of me, who else was going to take care of me? I had to drop a lot of things. There was a lot of things that I had to put on the sideline. I, I put myself on the sideline because in the sideline, you see a lot of things in a different angle. And entering into 2022, I started to feel a little different. I started to notice that I was a little bit happier that the anxiety and the depression were no longer waking me up. I no longer needed to feel like I needed to run and scream. Um, I was seeing the inflammation decrease in my body. I wasn't craving sugars. And let me tell you something. If you know me from back then, I was the type of girl that give me the cake and then I'll eat my food. I wanted the sweets. I wanted the cupcakes. I wanted the donuts first before dinner or before lunch. And then I would eat. My hair began to grow back. My kids and my husband would have their mama and their wife back. For the first time in months, I felt like myself. And I told Willow, hey, I need to meet these girls, Tara and Jenna. <laughs> I need them to know that their story is what kept me going and brought me back hope in the midst of my darkness. And she made it happen. When I met these women, it was like if I knew them forever. And I had to confess to them, hey guys, I was stalking you. I was stalking you for months. My husband would tell me, Erica, who is this Jenna and Tara that you're always talking about? And I'm like, it's the Plexus girls. And he would say, have you met them? And I was like, no, but I am. And he's like, okay, okay, I'm I'm seeing, I'm seeing the change. I'm seeing, I'm seeing something happen. And I said, okay, well, I ran into Tara and I ran into you know J uh, Jenna. And I told them my story. And we cried and we cried and we cried because their story is what got me out of my hole. Their story is what gave me hope. Their story is what I wake up to every day and say, God, you did it for them. I know you're going to do it for me. So it brings me here, sharing with you my story going into my sixth month of being consistent and learning every day about the company and the products. It never crossed my mind to create a business, but I'm thankful for the open opportunity. If there is anything that I would like you to take out of my story is don't be like me and wait to try the products. Do it. If you're on this call and you're thinking about starting, here's your confirmation to reach out to the person that invited you 
to this call. Never give up on a person you have may reached out to, even if they said no. Because I don't know where I would be if Willow wasn't consistently checking in on my health. Don't be afraid to share your story because what I saw a mess, God saw a message. What I saw a test, he saw a testimony. And I am still being seen by several specialists, but little by little, they're letting me go. And I leave with you this. If God can do it for me, he can do it for you. Amen. Amen. Your testimony will never get old, friend. Never. I hope that tonight you feel encouraged. If you've ever struggled with autoimmune disease and undisclosed unknown origins, so much uncertainty, then you can relate. If you love someone who's struggling with their health, you can relate. And I just wanna say like, praise God that Erica has a strong husband, that he was able to be the support that she needed in those times where she didn't know what was going to happen or how it was gonna turn out or what it was going to look like. But God, it is not on accident that you're on this call tonight at this time. We truly believe that these have been given to us as a gift because they are all natural. They are plant-based. There are no adverse side effects that you would get from pharmaceuticals. You only get health benefits. She shared tonight, which was just that sitting on the sideline for many of us is what we just did for years. And then you get to that point where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And then you get desperate enough <laughs> to try a little pink drink. And you'll be shocked like many of us have been when it actually works. But I wanna leave you with this. The secrets to getting it to work, like Erica said, is to take it. Don't let it sit on your counter, take it. Take it consistently. Give it the time it needs to work. Six months into her journey, you guys, is what you're seeing. And so I'm excited because I can't wait to see where she has, is going to be at in a year, where you're going to be at in two years or three years from now. I'm able to sit in front of you today, three and a half years into our journey. And if we had met all those years ago, I would have been 70 pounds overweight and bald on nine different medications a day, chronic exhaustion and pain and unable to function as a wife and a mom. I know many people see us today and they said, oh, that just can't be true. But there's photos to prove it. I've got bald photos out there. <laughs> and just like Erica, she's got photos to prove it too. So I wanna show you because I know that many on this call might not have seen where she was at in that hospital bed on June 21st. This was Erica on June 21st of last year. And then look at our beautiful friend this month. That's a hot photo, mama. I love it. <laughs> the products focus on balancing your blood sugars and your master hormone is insulin. When your master hormone is being balanced, it affects your thyroid and your adrenal glands, which function your entire body. Your endocrine system starts to function properly the way it was intended to. Your hormones balance out, your blood sugars balance out, and those crazy sugar cravings, it's not just a lack of ill will or not having enough willpower. It actually can be a gut health issue. 
And that's what these products do. They tackle gut health by feeding the good bacteria and killing the bad. And then you heard Erica talk about inflammation. It focuses on decreasing the inflammation that is systemic in our systems. That's when we wake up and our wedding rings are so tight or your fingers feel so swollen or your feet hurt in the morning or you can't, you're bloated or you're swollen or you're not going to the bathroom. There's so many different symptoms for inflammation. But it's one of those silent killers that comes along and it takes people way too early because they just dismiss the symptoms. We're getting older. For me, I had a lot of children. I have a lot of kids. I'm getting older. I'm just doing this or I'm doing that. And yes, there are parts of that that were true, but I, in the end, learned that it wasn't selfish to take care of myself. Like Erica shared tonight, if she wasn't going to take care of her, who would take care of her? Or how is she able to be the best mom and wife that she can be if she's not able to be the healthiest version of herself? So you're on this call tonight because someone loves you enough to share this with you. Our hope and our prayer is that you reach out to them and ask them all the questions. We have an incredible support page, a page full of those testimonies, those videos that Erica mentioned. We want to get you plugged in. Be nosy. Poke all around in there. Do your research. Ask the questions. Because that's the thing. If we don't know the answer, it's okay. We can find it for you. We know where to go to get the information. So I want to say thank you tonight to Erica for sharing, for being real and vulnerable, honest and raw, because all too often in society, there's certain things that we just don't always talk about. And there are things that we need to be having open conversations about. Mental health, anxiety, depression, those are all very, very real. There's very much a spiritual realm to that 100%. But I also have learned in my own journey and my own suffering is that there's a very physical issue as well. And that's one of the incredible side effects, health <coughs> benefits that Plexus offers is we're actually clinically proven to help with anxiety and depression. We have a psychobiotic, which specifically focuses on increasing your serotonin. So it's no wonder that we are known for being the healthy and happy company because when you are healthier you generally turn out to be a happier version of yourself so erica thank you so much for joining us tonight i love you friend and i'm so glad you stopped <laughs> me <laughs> and now you get to tell your husband we're going to do dinner with kenny and jenna like we're actually going to do life together right we're not just facebook friends so you guys please reach out to the friend who invited you tonight. If you have questions or you need more information, you wonder how this would work for you. There is an incredible health quiz that can navigate that for you and takes the guesswork out of it so that you actually get what you need for you specifically as an individual. We do have a coupon code as well. So we love helping friends and family get started at the least expensive out-of-pocket expense. And they have a free bag of active this month, which is all of our favorites. It's a fantastic energy drink that is alternative. It's all natural B6 and B12. I can go all up in that. You want to share anything else? No, that was a beautiful testimony. Brian over here. Bringing back a lot of memories. Yes. Yes. End of life conversations with your spouse can be very difficult, but God, and you will live a long healthy, prosperous, abundant life. You will be blessed indeed. He is going to expand your territory in ways you couldn't even <coughs> imagine, friend. He's got his hands of protection and provision all over you. He's protecting you from evil and he's keeping you from causing pain. We have no doubt the plans that he has for you, for you to prosper and not perish. Plans to give you hope and an incredible future. So we love you. We thank you guys so much for taking time to listen to this call. It was recorded. And with Erica's permission, we will share it in Godology. So that way you'll have it to be able to share and pass on. And I know our heart of hearts is that this impacts and blesses other mamas 
and other families like it has Erica's family, like it has ours and the countless now thousands of lives that are being changed because of a little pink drink and some probiotics that actually work. So you guys, thank you so much for taking time. We love you. We will see you soon. Thursday night is Pink Life Live. If you're interested, you're welcome to come back and join us. We have a <laughs> weekly pep rally that we do. It's tons of fun and excitement. We have a lot of announcements that we're gonna be dropping out this week. So join us again. You're welcome to come back on Thursday night at eight o'clock, but look for this testimony in Gutology 101. Feel free to tag your friends in it as well. And our prayer is that they will leave hopeful, inspired and encouraged. Thank you again so much for joining us, you guys. Have a great night. And Erica, thank you, friend. Thank you.